Hello, welcome. This is Austin from multiclassify.com. We are continuing in our series of lectures on using Joomla to uh, develop a website. So, like I was saying before, you need to extract this folder. You can see it is fully extracted. So, this is a zip file that has been fully extracted into our this uh, folder. So, this is what we have now. So, for you to start developing your website, you need to first of all rename this by just right clicking on it and saying the rename. So, we're going to be uh, developing a website. So, let's give it a name. The name we are going to give to this our website is going to be uh, me and you. Okay, that sounds like menu. I'm not going to use that. Okay, I'm going to say uh, you and me, you and me. Um, so this is the name of the website, you and me in short form. So uh, name this, so this is our website. So and how you go about to just download this like I told you, extract it, then rename the extracted uh, folder. These are all the websites that I have already. You can still take class right on those. So, so this is the website we have now. So once you've renamed this, you have to go uh, go to your server again. So just launch any browser. You need to uh, create a database for this. So launch a new browser. This is a new browser. So that inside here, just type uh, localhost. Like I told you, you must have to have started your uh, your server. If you did not start your server by going to start button and going to start server, then you might not be able to be seeing your local host. So I'm going to check again whether my server has been started. Uh, you see, it's not yet started. So this has to be uh, green for me to know that it has started. So I could just click on restart all services. To make sure that this sign, this W sign is green. That's the only way I know that it has fully started. So that when you type localhost here, it can easily lead us to localhost. Okay, you see it's green now, so it started. So type localhost in your browser and click on it to go. Good. So once that is done, this is what you're going to be seeing. So I want you to create a database for the website. That's how Joomla works. So we'll go to PHP my admin here, click on it. So once you click on this PHP admin, it's going to bring